This is one of my first guides. I'm going to show you how to make a Windows game run in Cider. Please note, not every single game will run, such as anything that is labeled Games for Windows Live is almost guaranteed not to run. I'm just going to show you with a simple game like uh, Hitman Contracts. Basically, first thing you need to do is you need to download the Cider package, or if you have a game like Sims 3, which just came out the other day, or something like that, uh, game tap, which is now discontinued, or Battlefield 2142, those all have uh, CIDR built into them. You just need to edit the files basically the same way. So we start off by unarchiving the CIDR.app zip. Then, what we need to do is show package contents. Browse through contents into resources, transgaming, so you get to C drive. You don't need to put it in program files or anything, but if you want to, it's up to you. Just adds makes more typing for you l later on. So after that, you got to find the game uh, folder of the installation files and all that. I just put mine on my desktop so it would be easier to find. Since I'm doing Hitman contracts, here's all the game files. Uh, you just basically select the folder, drag it into the C drive. Simple as that. Then, you want to go back, out, and double-click info.plist, or P-L-I-S-T, not P-L-S-T. If you do not have the property list editors, which is in Xcode, it will open up with the text edit, which I'll just show you how to do that anyway. So basically, you want to scroll down until you see, like, uh, down here it will have, like, C, Oblivion, that's what this one came default as. And you want to change that to Hitman Contracts, which is the name of the game, obviously, like the folder that it is in. Oh, don't worry. Same thing, you want to also do that. You want to also do that with this up here but you do not want the uh, exe f uh, file name. So, And then you, uh, for the exe, you have to have the name of the exe, which is hitmancontracts.exe, no spaces or anything. It's just I'm just going to copy that. And then just highlight it. And paste it. Then, if you have, if you only want it to run on certain systems, you can change the system. Like I'm just going to cha change it to 10.46 because that's the uh, version of Mac that was first available on Intel, and this is Intel only for people who do not know that. If uh, right here you want to change the settings folder, this is where it saves all your settings to something like uh, Hitman. Uh, otherwise, it will save into a, a CIDR X3 folder or whatever your game folder is and overwrite like other stuff. So if you have multiple games running off of this, like for instance, I have Metal Bonner Allied Assault, uh, and if that was named the same thing, it would conflict with the saves and configuration files, uh, giving it possible errors, which you do not want. Now, now you can, in here, you can put in like the version number and stuff if you want, which is not required. That's up to you completely. I really don't care. And then you want to save that. But for people who want to do that, you basically just change the same stuff, but right in here rather than in text edit, which I highly recommend uh, the property list editor, which is part of Xcode, or developer tools, which is Xcode included. So after that, uh, you're pretty much almost set, unless you want something like a image, like f instead of having that, which I have modified icons, just choose your image. And if I wanted this, click in, get info, you click on this image, and then edit, copy, or command C if that's easier for you, just not as easy to show. And you also choose, or this one, edit copy, which I did the wrong one, and you paste that on there. There's your icon. Then simply just double click and run.
and there's the game. It runs fairly well. And just a note, most of the games do not run on the Intel GMA 950, which is the earlier model MacBooks. I'm running on one of the newer unibody MacBooks, um, so I, I don't have much problem running most cider things. Um, some things give you some errors and that require you to use the registry. Like, for instance, Battlefield 2, if you want to play online, you have to have the registry files. Um, that is actually quite a bit more complicated uh, added <coughs> adding in uh, a whole bunch of files from Windows. I'll make a video later about how to get that working uh, normally and how to do that and set it up and all that. Um, and that's about all. If there's any questions, just comment. I'll put link for the CIDR uh, download in, on the side and then anything else that is needed. That is all.